Shit, 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 I grew up in, on, uh, I grew up with a family that did not believe in Christ. I grew up uh, with a family that allowed me to choose whatever religion I wanted to believe in. So going back, uh, after her death, I moved to Winnipeg. And in Winnipeg, I, I had a hard time making friends. I had a hard time communicating with people. Um, and my life wasn't very well off. I got into uh, drinking. I would drink in my uncle's uh, garage. I hope he doesn't hear this. And I also... <laughs> A lot of weed, a lot of drugs. Um, so, so um, I became suicidal. But at the back of my mind, I began to think about the afterlife. Is there a God out there? If I do die, where do I go? If my sister died, where is she? After school, I ran home. I did not want to interact with people, but I also did at the same time. I was thinking how I went to my bedroom, I closed the door, I was on my bed, and I started to think, I'm going to kill myself. Um, what is the easiest possible and most painless way to do this? God, we look to you tonight. Above the singing, God, above the music, above the songs, let your name be lifted high, Jesus. And I remember thinking about uh, this man named Jesus that these Christians talk to, and that dead souls will go to heaven one day. Um, I. I was thinking, should I use a gun, should I use a rope, should I take a knife? Um, I just, a uh, thought popped into my head. Um, is, okay, God, you have one chance to prove yourself real to me. If you don't prove yourself real to me, I will kill myself today. And that's it. I, then there's no heaven, no hell, because these people said if I talk to you, you will talk back to me. Um, the Holy Spirit came, and I heard him speak a lot of things, but I'll tell you three things that he spoke about. Um, Spirit came down, and he told me he loves me. I am his friend, and he told me to follow him. In my mind, I was like, whoa, what is this feeling? How is, how is this possible? I cried, and he told me what I would do with my life. Um, when he said, follow me, I told him, in my heart, no. I wasn't ready. I wanted to do have sex with anybody I want to and all that kind of stuff. I ended up falling asleep. He said, you will serve me after when you're out an older man. You'll regret that you have said no. You'll regret the wasted days in between those. But you will serve me. And I will restore the days that you have missed. I fell asleep. Uh, the next morning I was like, oh, God is real. 
So I began believing in God after that. And for the next seven years, I would sleep with men, drugs, I'd snort cocaine, crack, got into a relationship with a guy, and it all felt like hell. I your name be honored, God. And we commit all that we are to you, God, and everything that we do. And we reach towards you. 